What did the grape do when it got stood on? Let out a little whine. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Previously, I did a video on how to set up a fire stick the right way. But we've since gained a lot of subscribers and a lot more viewers. And there's a few other additional tips and tricks I want to add into it as well. So although a lot of this setup process may seem obvious, there may be some things in here that you may find useful. So do keep watching. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will say is do comment down below which Amazon device you use. Is it the Amazon Fire Stick? If so, is it the 4K Fire Stick 2nd Gen? Or do you use the Fire TV, Fire TV Cube? Let me know down below because it will be interesting to see. Right, so when we first launched the Fire Stick, uh, something that a lot of people don't really think to check is, this is obviously factory reset, everything's as fresh. So we go to Settings. And then we go down and we're going to go across to My Fire TV. And once you click on this, you're going to see it say About. And when we click on this, you're going to see at the bottom it says Downloaded Update. And this is because I've just done a factory reset on my 4K Fire Stick. So now it's automatically downloading all the updates for the software or the operating system. But sometimes this may not start automatically, so you may have to go here and check for updates. Because obviously if the device isn't up to date, then it may not work as it should. Or it may be a bit sluggish or it might be buggy. And it's always worth checking that it is up to date. So next we're going to click on the home button and now we're going to like unlock the device you could say. And allow us to install third party apps because most people buying these devices do buy them for streaming. So we're going to show you how you can get those types of apps. So first of all, we want to go to settings again. Go down and across to My Fire TV once again. And then underneath you're going to see it says developer options. When we click on this, you're going to see apps from unknown sources. I don't know how many times I want to say you're going to see, but you do see. <laughs> So now we're going to turn Apps From Unknown Sources on. And now this is going to allow us to download and install apps that aren't in the Amazon App Store, so from websites. So now we're going to click the Home button once again and go to the search icon at the top left-hand corner. And you're going to type in Downloader or DAO. And underneath, you're going to see it says it there. We can click on that. Don't know what I've just said. And you're going to see the orange box and it says Downloader. Click on this. And now we want to download this to our device. So click on download. If it doesn't download and install to your device, it may be because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it is free to install and download, Amazon do sometimes require that you have bank details set up to your Amazon account to be able to use that store. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. So now you can click open, but I'm going to show you how I can access my applications. So if I click on the home button, one thing you can do is long hold the home button on your remote and go into apps. And then it'll bring up all the apps installed on your device there. But the way I like to access my applications on Fire Stick is go to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications. And then once again, you're going to see all your applications that are installed on your device, including Downloader. But this allows us to force stop apps that crash. It allows us to clear the data, clear the cache if needed. And I've always accessed my applications this way. So now, like we said, we want to install some streaming apps. You like your movies, TV shows, your live TV, all that kind of stuff. Ding dangly do. So we're going to launch the application. And once it launches, a very important step is to allow the permissions. If you don't allow those permissions that you see there, I don't know which side they are on then you're not going to be able to use the web browser to download stuff to your device. So I'll click Allow, click OK, and once you click Up, you're going to access the URL bar. So when we click on that, we're not going to beat around the bush here. We're going to tell you the quickest ways to get the apps and get you going because nobody likes sitting around just um, sitting around getting nowhere. <laughs> no, no, what I wanted to say, but you're going to type in Get dot file linked dot com and once you've typed a lot of people do think that we're saying fire linked as well it's not fire it's file so file get dot file linked dot com 
And once you've typed this in, you click on go. And what this is going to do, it's going to directly install something from that URL. So it's not going to take you to a website. It's going to just download something direct. And when it comes up with this screen here, you're going to go across to install at the bottom. Give it a couple of moments just to install the application to that device. And now you can click on done. And then we're going to hit delete and delete again. If you do forget to do this, you can go to files on the left hand side and you will find them inside here. Now it's very important that you do delete these because they do take up your storage quite fast. As you can see that one app that I've just installed, the download file is 11.1 megabyte. And we no longer need it as that is only the installation file. So you can see how quick they would add up and take up your storage, which can in turn slow your device down and just make it dog shit. So we long hold the enter button on that and click on delete. That gets rid of it. And now I'm going to go back home and I'm going to go back into my applications by going to settings, applications, manage installed applications. And this time we should see file linked. So now you can see from downloader, we've just installed file linked and it is inside our applications. And we can launch the application, give it a couple of moments. It's going to say preparing application and it's going to come up like this. So where it says enter code, I'm going to show you somewhere in a moment that you can go and find numerous different codes. Because not always will you find apps that you are looking for inside certain stores. So click on enter code and then we're going to type in 36001 and like I said, this is only one code. There's actually quite a few codes you can use. And each code is literally like a different store full of different types of apps. So we're going to hit on next. And now we're going to click on continue. We're going to hit dismiss on the disclaimer. And now what you're going to see, if I start scrolling down, you've got top movie apps. If you do get another pop-up like this as well, make sure you click on dismiss. And all these are applications for movies and TV shows, which are free. So any of these apps here, you may have heard of a few of these like your BTV, Cat Mouse, Cyberflix, Cinema HD, TTV. There's loads in here that you can use and you can try. And then we keep scrolling down and then you're also going to see you get a live TV section as well. So everything underneath this section are apps for free live TV. Now I'm not going to install too many because obviously I don't want to show too much content in this video, but to download an application, all you need to do is click on the download arrow on the right hand side, and then you're going to start to see a green bar fill up underneath the name of that application. Now, if you don't see the green bar going up, you may have to just move down and back up just to show that it is loading. And then once it's finished, you're going to see it comes up with a play symbol. And now we're going to click on that. And then now it allows us to install that application to our device. Click install. And now an app that you'd never find in the Amazon store, you can actually find it and download it to your device. Hit on done. We can go back. Hit yes. Go back again. Back again. We're in as applications. Go up. You can see you've got BTV, which we've just installed. Now, when you look at that file link store, there may be things that you don't find in there that you are looking for. So I'm going to show you another thing that you can do by opening Downloader. If we launch this application again, go back home. I'm going to type in another URL, so another website, delete that. And now we're going to visit the website letscrackon.org. And once you've typed in letscrackon.org, exact as you see it there as well, you can hit on go. I'm sweating my tits off. I do apologize if my forehead is shining. <laughs> I'm trying to explain this slow as well. And I'm trying to do it in depth. So whether you're an advanced user or you're a beginner and brand new to fire sticks, you'll be able to follow this video and you'll have no issues getting started. But once the website loads up, you've got a hamburger menu, three line button there, click on that, and then you can click on downloads. But first, you've just seen how we've used file linked and we use the code 56001333. If you go to pin codes, if an ad does pop up, click on the cross there. And now we're going to scroll down and it's going to show you various different codes for file linked. So that's the code 56001333. We go down, there's another code there. 
another code there, another code there. So there's various different stores you can use. So if you can't find an app inside that file link store, you can try out another one. So we're going to go back into the menu and we're going to click on downloads this time. And there's loads of useful stuff in here for you to use on your device. We can start scrolling down and as you can see, you can actually install file links from here as well. APK time is another great source for your third party apps, usually ad free as well. And they're always kept up to date. Aptoid TV, another store that I'd probably recommend getting. But then you've also got useful tools and essentials. So you've got your um, file explorers, so your file managers, mouse toggle. You've got Puffin TV, which is a web browser, which I like. You've got media players, so you've got the K word there. We can't really say the K word because um, YouTube don't like it. MX Player and VLC Player, which are two very popular media players. And then there's loads of other downloads you can go and check out with free VPNs as well. So if you do want to download something from this page, we click on VLC Player. Because when you're watching an app, well, when you're watching from an app for movies and TV shows, a lot of people do recommend you use an external media player for it to play back a lot smoother. In fact, the most popular one is MX Player, so I'll just show you on this one. We scroll down and you're going to see a download button. And once we click on this, give it a couple of moments, it's going to start downloading MX Player to the device. We're going to click install once again. Give it a couple of moments, it's going to say app installed. Click on done, hit delete and delete again. Now we'll go back to the downloads page. Another useful thing you can do is go right up to the top. Top right hand corner, the three line button, hamburger menu, whatever you want to call it, we can click on that and add the current page to favorites. Click on save. Now, every time you open download, you don't have to type in the website. You can go to favorites and then inside the favorites is a downloads page and it will take you straight there. Very useful tip for doing things fast and to save you time. So now we've gone back into his applications and you can see now I've got MX player, but we don't really need to open this. You can open it once just to allow the permissions which it does ask for like that. Click allow and then you never have to open it again. And then if you want to go into the third party app what you've just installed and launch the application, I will have to gray and blur some of it out. So if you can't see it properly, it's me that's done that. It's not the device itself. We can click allow on the permissions. And then as you can see, we can set MX player as a default player. So anything you want to play content wise, any stream, It'll play it through MX Player instead of using the internal EXO player. So if we use the EXO player and you want to change it, we can go to the top left hand corner and then go down to settings. And once you're here, you simply scroll down until you see media player and it'll say choose default player. You can click on that and change that whenever you want. And then it will automatically play through that player every time. So now we've shown you how to pretty much unlock your Fire Stick or your Amazon device to be able to install anything you want. And like I said, mainly these devices are used for streaming and this is how you're going to do it. Now, I'm not going to bore you on this video. There is some things you can turn off on your Fire Stick to help it run better, but also to make it more private and to stop anybody collecting your data. And I'll link that up in the top right hand corner now and it's settings that you should turn off when you are using your Fire Stick. And then another thing you can do is use a VPN and a VPN hides you. And I always use a VPN when streaming so my internet service provider can't see what I'm visiting, what I'm streaming or what I'm doing. And it also allows you to access region lock content. But I'll link another video to that in the top right hand corner now if you want to know more about VPNs. Right, so I know that video was very, very basic and I know a lot of people will be saying, wowzers, did you really need to make that video? And like I said in my previous Android Box for Dummies setup guide, I need to start addressing people like they are beginners. I fell into something where now, a lot of the time I'm talking in tutorials like you already know what I am talking about and forgetting that people may be brand new to this and not know what I'm meaning or where to go. So that's why I'm just doing a few full setup guides, basic, so anybody watching can follow. So I do apologize if this doesn't... <laughs> so I do apologize if this didn't appeal to you, but hopefully it's going to help some people 
or even people who are advanced, it's going to stop them having to explain to somebody else how to do it. You can simply send them this video and they're good to go. Right, so I hope this video did help somebody, at least two people, and then it was worth making. Right, so I, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!